last time on Jurassic Park RV. Frank, out of boredom, opened the slide out. He says the slide out does go back in. So I'm gonna find out how it's done. How do I know which was a long one and which was a short one? <laughs> does Steve have the keys? You were supposed to. You don't have keys? Who has keys? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Let's, no power. And nothing. They were supposed to have the shop empty so that we can move this thing into the back corner so they can work on it every once in a while. Right now we're just gonna park. Right. And then you guys can come in the next couple of days and we start, you know. Hey DJ, it's Chris. How's it going? Oh man, I knew you were gonna phone one of these days. Oh yeah. I'm gonna just commit myself to Monday morning, and then we're gonna start. Like, okay, so is that a firm Monday morning? Because absolutely, no. I'm gonna do this. No, we were gonna already figure it out before the weekend, but I'm, I, I need to have that guy doing it. That's what I want. So I'm gonna commit myself to Monday morning, and uh, we're gonna start. Because okay. I, I talked to Steve, and Steve said that you guys are waiting for me for some reason. I don't know what the conflicting report is. Hell no, I said, no, 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 not Steve, don't tell you this. I've been trying to get a hold of Steve, and I said, Chris phones me every day. And I said, I was waiting for him to contact you guys too, because I was going to phone Frank, because I couldn't get a hold of Steve. Yeah, that's why I'm no, wondering, because no, 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 I no, get no. this report from, from, from Frank through Steve that you guys are waiting on me, and I'm the one that's calling Hell you guys. no, not even close. I never said that either. I was waiting on him. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's gonna. So work is gonna begin on Monday. Yes, correct. Okay. Um, and uh, but we'll start uh, Monday morning with it. Okay. Okay, Monday it is. All right. Thanks very much, man. Okay, Chris. And just tell Steve he's totally out of whack. <laughs> I never told him that. Okay. Cool. We'll do. Okay. Thanks, no man. Bye. Okay, mate. Bye, bye. It's March 9th, and according to my Instagram account, it's been about three weeks since we dropped it off here. We got a guy on the roof, and hopefully today we're gonna to be putting some holes in it, because that means we're getting some work done. So, let's see what's up there. Okay, so we're gonna remove the old paneling. This, this piece right here is a, um, it shows in, uh, then we have a uh, metal support around it and insulation. This has to be replaced. So underneath this is a sheet of metal. Remove it, replace it, and uh, do it. Okay. The biggest problem is to fix these patches for waterproofing. The seal was right here. The caulking and the silicone, they came out and that was it. Even though the top of the RV wasn't really filmed at all for the movie, they went to all the trouble of actually putting in a vent here that literally left to nothing.
taking off the roof panel that's over the driver's seat because we don't want to ruin these because these are original screen use seats and that's not going to be replaceable. So, it's a matter of holding a bolt in place while he's underneath the RV, unscrewing it, we take the seat off. Heavy. Seat belt. How do you get the seat out of an RV where, with sealed windows and a tiny door? So that's the end of the first day of work on the RV. So far, all we've done today is we've cut out three sections of the roof, kicked out three sections of the roof. We've unbolted the front seats and that's basically it. I mean, that's one day of work. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what else needs to be done. And I'm really surprised this thing is still here. Shitty. What up boys? Okay, so what the fuck happened since I was gone? Uh, I think pretty much nothing. We've got some photos that were taken by the original marketing manager at the show today, as well as some new information about the RV that we didn't know before that changes a little bit of the outlook on it. Yeah, so, well, how's that? Um, it turns out the RV is not the, the model we thought it was. It's not a Fleetwood Southwind Storm. Only the front end is. It looks like they built two original front ends, which we've got one picture in here of both together, and then they built two regular trailers that were fully functional for road use, and then two gimbal trailers that were only ever meant to be destroyed. Hmm. Apparently, most of these sidewalls are actually wild walls that come off. All of these? Almost everything on the trailer comes off. I think anyone's ever seen Yeah, so we've got this photo here, and I think you wanted to see which one of these RVs yeah. in this photo is ours, because yeah. you noticed a little difference in the paint. Yeah, I think it's going to be this one here on the left. Wait, I think ours is that one, because look at this dark spot here. It rounds off. That one connects all the way. The last time I was here, I kicked in the roof and then that was that's nothing happened. That's happens. all we did and we took it. the cabinets out in the back and cleaned it up and took all the wiring out. See you at the prior field, 15,600. Okay, and then you. once you have this up there, then we have to get the wiring. None of the kitchen stuff is getting done either? No. No. Why not? Frank said no. But you guys are supposed to decide where you put the plugs and what's going to be 110 and 12 volts and blah, 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 and then you could give him a price because he needs to put a transfer switch and all the stuff in there underneath. Okay. And all the breaker boxes, you guys don't have any of this stuff. But if you guys decide to do it, oh, I can rewrite it in there. Okay. Yeah. And, and get approval. The way I'm looking at it, and correct me if I'm wrong, is, you know, we did the quote, and it's heavily based on the front half, like Steve's saying, but there are some items that affect both, like AC, both needs an AC unit. So in here it says, put one AC on the front, one on the back. And it's just something that's gonna roll over into the next project. And when the art, when the, we get to the trailer, we might need to write up a second quote. And some of these things will roll over onto it from oh, the first I'm one. How's the roof on the other one is the same way? It's worse than that. Yeah. It is? Yeah. Okay. So if Whenever you guys can do a quote this on weekend. The, on the front or on the back? Just on at least the front for now. Uh, and then the quote. DJ to the office, uh, please. For the DJ. Walls. We need to ready. Uh, the walls. I can. I can. I can open. I can. I can have the estimate for the walls by Monday. Okay. So if you can call me, text me, email me. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, you got all the stuff before the weekend. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> there we go. Bother him actually. Thank you. Whatever I guess. you need to do. Okay. Every time I tell them what we discuss, they keep going back to step one and it's like okay well either you don't want to do the work or you're not remembering the work that you're discussing basically they're just they're just jerking around too absolutely So guys, that's the end of the high production value uh, version of the RV series. It's going to continue, but now it's from Frank's phone because as he continued to work on the RV, he filmed it from his uh, whatever cell phone he owns. Um, so uh, as we continue our efforts to keep this thing alive, uh, be sure to share, like, subscribe. Um, and if you have something to offer to help us out in keeping this RV alive and bringing it back to life, uh, just leave it in the comments. Let us know what you can do, what you would do, and what we should do, because I think we don't really know what we're doing anymore. So all help and 
advice is very appreciated. We'll see you next time.